it going, everybody? So we're here today, and um, well, we're about to do a couple of podcasts, but before we did them, we wanted to uh, kind of get this thing started off right. We got a couple of new beers from Hops and Grain, here with my buddy Tony Drury. Cheers. You guys might know him uh, pretty well. Um, used to work at RAR, and now is uh, generally a craft beer advocate for Texas craft beer, um, and uh, is doing really great things. And one of those really great things is uh, something that you Twitter followers may know as a Shotgun Friday. Woo! You. <laughs> uh, of which there are many members. Um, I've, I've been a part of it a few times myself. It's spread statewide already. It has, it has. And there, uh, there are many participating members. And my dog just laid down in front of us, which means he's about to get showered with a little bit of beer. And that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to give him a bath at some point. So uh, we're, uh, we're going we're gonna to tell you guys uh, like how to shotgun a beer um, the right way. Craft beer way, a little bit better. Oh so. yeah, a lot better. Yep. All right, I've got myself a uh, hops and grain pale dog here, a pale ale. A little bit different than the old uh, Keystone Natty Light stuff that you're probably used to shotgunning. Uh, this is going to be a little bit harder to get down, but it's going to be way more worth your effort, and a little bit of effort at that. Uh, basically, you take the can right here. You got the uh, where you would normally open it. Just come straight down from that down to the bottom. Any kind of sharp tool will work. I always keep my trusty knife on hand. Maybe you a can sword? See, you can see that it's pretty sticky. Uh, I've done this before. Yeah, swords work. Uh, we've used uh, pitchforks. Uh, we use the sprocket on a, mo a moving sprocket on a bicycle. Uh, pegged from a motorcycle. We're working on a chainsaw next. So, stay tuned for that. Be safe. So, just take it. Poke a little bit out to relieve the pressure. Get a little spray on there. You'll get a little beer on you. And I'm a dog and, up. <laughs> and this is key right here. You want a big hole. The bigger the hole, the easier it's going to be to get all that beer down inside your gullet. Which and is fast. definitely the goal. And definitely be careful because it's really, really sharp. So you want to make sure you fold down any sharp edges around there because nobody's going to feel sorry for you when they ask how you cut your lip and you said, I did it shotgunning a beer. So, your can's prepared and ready. All right, Scooter's doing the, uh, the alteration ale. Yes, award winning. Award winning. This is a like gold medal. World, and world, the world beer, beer cup. You're gonna shock it. Uh, you know, I, I got more. You know. <laughs> yeah, we got more. Yeah. So, would you recommend like loosening the tab a little bit, or get your thumb under it before you pop up, or just, uh, just throwing it up there? I kind of throw it up there. I mean, you know, the the gold. This You're is this is crap beer shocking. So this is about uh, quantity. It's not about getting drunk. It's about one and done. So. Yep. Take your time. It's, it's not about winning. It's about playing. It's about who plays so, the game. All right. I'll put like it up there. Get, yeah, just kind of get your fingers up underneath the tab. Get ready to go, and then put the uh, hole up to your mouth so you don't spill it all over yourself. Good. And uh, once you're ready to rock, uh, pull that tab and start sucking it down. Let's roll, homie. Shotgun Friday. Yeah, we're gonna throw it on the ground. That is a delicious beer. Uh. It always comes out of the Oh, yeah. Let's get a good burp. So, that is one way to get a, a crash course on a beer we're about to uh, review. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, now you know how to shotgun, so uh, be responsible. But, uh, hey, jump, jump in on Friday. That's what Fridays are for. You know? Tag your buddies. SGF or Shotgun Friday. <laughs>